Welcome back. So in this video, it was requested by UNSW iGEM. I am going to teach you guys how to change the fonts from a Google Fonts file. And so the first thing that I'm going to do for that is just go to fonts.google.com. And this is a really good resource. You can filter by a lot of different options, but if you find a font that you like, for example, Open Sans, you can click on it and then it will show you all of the different styles and it will also give you suggested pairings and how those pairings look and so you can change it up let's say that you wanted to use open sans for one of your headers and you wanted it to be bold you can see how that looks but the thing with Google fonts is that when you download it it only gives you a TIFF file and so we want additional file types to use on the wiki. And so the website that I actually use after I find the font that I want. And for this example, I'm actually going to use... I'm not positive how to pronounce I'll say Montserrat. And so this is the font that I'll use for the example. And then I go into this Google Web Fonts Helper website, which I will link in the description box. And you just search the font that you would like. It gives you all of the different options, and then you click the styles that you'd like to download. So what I would like is regular, italic, 700 and 700 italic. It will then give you some CSS, but because everything needs to be hosted on the iGEM server, I'm going to download. And then while that's downloading, wait a second. Okay, so while that's downloading, if you go to our GitHub page, you'll find in the wiki code examples, you'll find our font code that I'll be using in this video. And so this is just an example, but I'll just copy and paste it in the template. And this is just my team's main style template that I've been working on. And so I already uploaded another additional font style, but for this one, using Montserrat, I am going to show you how to upload the bold style. And so what you'll notice is that no matter if it's bold or the normal font weight, the font style that you'll put is normal, and then the one that you'll change it for is if it is an italic font. So if it's a bold italic, you'll just put italic right here instead of normal. And then for the font weight, you can find that just based on whatever you downloaded. So this one is 700. And then you'll go and you'll change these. And so if we were just doing the regular Montserrat, we do Montserrat. It was Montserrat Italic, just be Montserrat Italic. If it's Montserrat Bold, Montserrat Bold, and if it's Montserrat Bold Italic, then you just put Bold Italic. And so you'll match this to whatever you have here. And so for this example, I'm just doing the bold. And then from there, we are ready to start uploading the file. And so we'll pull up the downloaded file and then it gives you all of the different file types. You'll find the one that you want. For this example, I will be using these right here. And so the first one that I'm going to do is the 700 
EOT. So I'll put that there. I will just name it. This is descriptive enough for me to know what it is, and then I will upload the file. And then in order to link it, unlike an image where you would click on the date and time stamp or the file link, if you do that, then it will just download the actual file instead of letting you view anything. And so you will right click on it and copy the link. And then this is what you will put for the source URL and also for the embedded open type format. The next one that I will do is going back to upload a new file. I'll download the SVG. I can keep the same name and just put a different file type on it. And then it will give me a warning since it is the same file type or the same name excluding the file type which is different and I just save it anyway. For all of the SVGs I've been getting this error message but I just copy the link just because it's unable to generate the thumbnail for it as it does the other ones but it still works out fine and then upload the TIFF file Do the same thing with copying the link and then put it in the true type format and then last but not least we will upload the work file and copy and paste the link and then so that is how you just upload one weight and style of it and so from this I would then repeat this process three more times for the normal 400 weight for the 400 weight italic and then for the 700 weight italic and then one other thing that I did notice when I was trying out the railway font previously was I, I it was being overridden by some additional code that I don't believe that I wrote I think it was just something on the iGEM server so for these you may have to put the important tag on it and so I hope that this clears everything up with the proper way to upload Google fonts to the wiki uh, let me know if there are any questions or any additional videos. And as always, email us for the full wiki guide so that your team can use it. And if you just um, in a couple of weeks, the full wiki guide will be uploaded to our wiki guide page on here. We almost have it all up. But just stay tuned for that and make sure that if you use this video to tell us so that we can include you in our collaborations and so that you can let us know how you liked it. So thank you and remember that some of the details for this will be in the description box.